Do we listen off axis? This question comes from Ron in Maplewood, New Jersey. Sounds like a pleasant place, a lot of maple trees probably. And Ron wants to know, let me get to Ron's question here. If we have our speakers set up for the best possible center image, doesn't that mean that we, by the geometry of that setup, are listening off axis? And don't we lose something listening off axis? Yes, it, 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 it somewhat does, but much of it depends on how you have your speakers set up. So let me give you some examples. Well, first, let's talk about what on-axis and off-axis is. We talk about it a lot in these videos, and I, it's always hard to know what people know and don't know. So I, forgive me, I, I, I do my best to kind of repeat a lot of times what we're talking about, because I get new members come on board, they don't know, you members that do know, just have a little patience, I will, I'll do my best. So on axis, so here, this is, this is Arnie Nudell's last speaker, it's his finest achievement. This is the model that we will be using to make our own mirror copies of a, uh, of a loudspeaker. And um, we're going to model and fashion everything off of this. So you, these are, this is a row of tweeters on here. These are ribbon tweeters, and this is a, a ribbon mid-range. And on axis means simply that you're facing in front of the tweeter. So if I was standing right here, right in front of the tweeter, I probably wouldn't be this close, it, <laughs> I would be on axis. As I move off to the side, I am now, you got it, you guessed it, on, off axis, right? So. This is the right speaker, and we know that because we want the tweeters on this design to be on the inside of the uh, stereo pair, if you will. So this would be our right speaker. And we sit, if you imagine a triangle going from the right speaker all the way over to the left, and then you know, zoning in to the listener that's sitting right at the, the uh, the point of the triangle in our imaginary listening triangle, then you by default are off axis when you listen, uh, unless of course you have these speakers pointed straight at you. So if I imagine that you, the listener, are, the, are, are right at the, at the point of the, of the triangle, and I point this right at you. Now, I'm pretty much on axis, and a lot of, a lot of uh, hi-fi manufacturers, speaker manufacturers recommend it. We were at Expona in Chicago. We use Sandy Gross's Golden Ear speakers, and those speakers are designed specifically, one of the few, that you want those things to be way out to the edges and pointing straight in. And that's not something I'm a big fan of. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love, I love Sandy speakers or we wouldn't have used them. But I'm not a big fan of laser-like on-axis response. I prefer off-axis response to where the speakers are pretty much flat and pointed at you. Now, part of Ron's question was, does that deteriorate from the sound? Does that take away from the sound quality? And the answer is, as most things in engineering and audio, uh, maybe. Um, most likely, in like in our case, if we, if we sold you a pair of these speakers, the answer would be no. Why? Because when Arnie or we design speakers, we design them to have a very smooth and flat off-axis and on-axis response. Now, you can't have that, you, you can't point, at, especially at high frequencies, if you point directly at it, you're always going to have a bit higher, you know, in other words, you have to raise that a little bit to get this smooth. But look in any stereo magazine of a decently um, uh, engineered loudspeaker that believes, like we do, in off-axis smoothness, uh, that's just a design philosophy that not everybody shares, but we do. You'll f you'll see that the off-axis response is very smooth, and and very even, and that allows you to make a speaker whose imaging is a result of off-axis response 
like our speakers, like Arnie's speakers, like any number of speakers. So that's the answer to your question. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> if you do it right and if you design it right. I, I hope we didn't get too far off track. Thank you for that question. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.